it's Monday. It may well have been a Monday, but it is Vlogmas Day 7, and I'm taking you back in time to a weekly vlog in, I think, October? Uh, I get to the end of this vlog and I explain that if I've got to the end of this and I've edited it and uploaded it, then I'm actually doing really well for my own confidence sake. So bear with me, feel no obligation to watch the whole thing, but feel free to skip through, join me as I get involved in digging out my parents' basement, finding a whole bunch of fun stuff, doing some painting, doing bits and pieces around the house. It's quite a cosy, fun vibe vlog, and it is a bit of something different for Sunday's video. I hope you have a lovely rest of your week and happy vlogmas! And I'm here, wow that's bright, with most of our fake living wall. We couldn't see what it was like on the back, so for anyone else who wants to know what the back of it looks like, because it's flexible plastic. So that will go there and it will all be wonderful. Monday fun day. Airbnb change of the day. It's usually a lot going on. And that partnership again of, well like Rachel said with the quality, kind of being in it together. Quite an ear. Greetings, it's Tuesday. We worked out, uh, the hair is scraped back as still such, but I have good news of great joy. Uh, not that kind of joy, but I have been working on this pull-up bar. Um, I'm not very sporty, is that an overstatement? I was definitely all about the arts at school, not sports really, even though I technically went to a sports college. Sports college! So, with a pull-up bar, today, for the first time, Ever, I think I did two ass unassisted pull-ups and chin-ups. How long have I been trying to do it, John? Weeks, if not months, months, definitely months. Two months. Two months. But we did it finally. Balanced on a chair and then take the chair away. So I was also quite rested. I'd eaten really well. Uh, yeah, lots of positives. But yeah, John's been basically holding me up <laughs> to learn how to do them. I could have got a resistance band to do that, but I so. Think you should do it for the vlog just to prove it. Do you think I could still do it, even on yeah, tired muscles? Yes. I definitely. Well, let's see what we can do. Right. Nice. Wait! <coughs> couldn't be quite the chin-up. I can't remember if that's chin-ups or pull-ups. But, will that count? Do you think that counts? Yeah. I kind of had to G myself up over the last little bit, but almost there. I'll see yeah. if I can still do the other one. Need some blood. Hey. Games with Rachel. Very I impressive. I did it! Well done, sweetheart. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that has to be. I'm fine. I'm all fine. Oh, so yeah, uh, I'm sweating again. See, that's how much grief this is taking me to get there. But I'm very pleased. That is the achievement of the day. So that is a Tuesday. I'm still out of breath from those pull-ups, chin-ups. I don't know which way around it is. If you know, would value knowing. Um, I'm feeling really good. We're on Wednesday. Thank you, Rachel Pass. Wednesday. Today's been a good day. I have just finished with helping out my sister and my nieces, which has been good. I'm now on the way to my parents in town to clear out their basement. Right, this is what I need to sort. And I believe there is a good bit through here. I don't know if I have any footage. Um, guilty. Got my parents into a bit of HelloFresh and some boxes. Um, this is where I actually trained uh, in radio. I was down here for months. Dad really kindly, he really believed in what I was doing and to put this underlay on the wall. So it was really uh, dead, so I could record. In this table, this table used to not have loads of stuff on it. It was something like five months, I want to say. I guess I know people can see me having a career as a radio presenter and... Yeah, I got to doing National Breakfast for a time, which again, it was a long slog to get there and I did a lot of hours doing overnight slots and coming in evenings, uh, weekends, you know, it's not, it's easy to see the finished product and not know. This is where I cut my teeth. So if you are, are thinking of either looking in and saying, oh, well you got there and you know, it just kind of happened for you. I just want to affirm to myself and to you that these things take a lot of hard work and I was privileged to have the opportunity to work hard but it was not easy. Anyway, I have my signs, I have my defo keep, I have maybe keep unsure, I have 
Bino, which is a very important pile, and I have Charity Shop. John gave me the idea of doing four labels, and then I can just go through stuff and put things in their separate areas. So that's the plan. Okay, this is what we're starting with, folks. A couple of drawers. This was from my wedding. That's my first ever Bible. These are all my old notebooks from when I was a kid. That's Dad playing the trumpet upstairs, if you can hear that. Stuff like this, I don't know what to do with. I think, I think Keep. It's really special because it was the first one I read and grew in my faith when I was a kiddo. But at the same time, that means it needs to live in space and place. Um, I have some old oyster cards. God love these old boys. Need to see if there's anything on them. Oh wow, oh wow. Check out that grumpy face. That's what I'm talking about there. Look, I look like a goth there. I'm not a goth, or never was, but um, I look like it. We don't even use oyster cards anymore. Got ribbons, notebooks, loads of notebooks. But yes, lots of them were filled because I would doodle and cartoon at church. Oh, and probably stuff like this, 5M. I was at Latchmere Juniors. Mr. Miller, look at all these. I was so proud to get these. You know, my former self. I was very keen on, I was a reward-based kiddo. They ran out of stickers, so they ended up writing merit. Got 40 merits, means nothing. Is that a comment on life? I've just been going through old notepads. And in the corner of my eye, I saw something moving. And it was a massive spider. Oh man, I need to cut myself down. I'm not gonna show you. I, I'm for my, oh my life, that's it. Oh my life, it's gone. Oh my goodness. I've been really trying to get better at being with spiders. Um, because I know all the things, they're more afraid of me. And it's just, I think it's males looking for a mate at this time of year. Um, look, see, even me talking about it is helping me calm down. But you can't feel my heart racing. Um, and so I've been going to ZSL London Zoo and walking around the spider bit, and I've been around three times with members. Uh, yeah, it's genuinely helped me look at the detail on spiders. It's just when they move. It's when they move. I just lose it. I'm now okay. I've talked about it, and I'm, I'm now okay. It's just if it moves, I might freak out, which I really don't want to make it move. This is where I'm grateful I can call for Dad. I am genuinely getting better. I really don't want to be arachnophobic anymore. I'm fed up with that. So, Dad very kindly came and I explained where it was, but as I was explaining where it was, he then moved the bin and the thing shot out. I screamed and fled up the stairs. <laughs> it was actually no use to man a beast. Um, and then went and found Mum and my heart rate has finally gone down. I just can't cope. Small steps. Right, back to this. This is where we're at now. All my notebooks. So this is what I used to cartoon. I mean, if a seven-year-old drew that and presented me with that, I'd be sufficiently impressed. And I am, I think, sufficiently impressed. I was at a very high bar and I never really got trained on how to do things. So it was always, I was always frustrated by my own work, which is funny that, because I'm always frustrated by my vlogs, that they aren't, they never end up quite how they end up. Well, it's better than that one. I mean, she looks, she looks like she's had a hard old time. I'm gonna put you down again and just try and work through what I can keep and what to put in the maple pile. Oh, this is so bad for someone who likes hoarding. Ah! I just found, I think it's the first official story I wrote in that it was one that I did, I think of my own volition about a girl called Ruth and Ruth goes to school. And I remember writing this and I remember finding it again and being amazed, but it has a number of chapters. We get up to chapter two with Ruth goes to school. Everything's spelt very phonetically, including breakfast. And we get up to chapter three, Sam and Ted have a plan. Um, oh man. You can even see where I got my sister to write the word naughtiest for me. <laughs> wow. I mean, my handwriting isn't all that much better, but it's amazing to see me learning something. I think that was a self-portrait. It was 2004. There we go. So I would have been 10 or 11. Man, just trying to draw. This was kind of more of a normal person. I attempted a normal person with a massive nose. Yeah, nice one, Rachel. Oh, I've been sitting on my feet too long. Oh, tell you what I just found. 
Oh, yes. Oh, my life. Look how small it is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I typed out so many texts and had to get them whatever the character limit was back in the day. Oh, I got nicked at school and I got the same one again. But Motorola L6, this was a lot of my life. Too much of my life was spent. Sticker books. Tell me that you also liked sticker books. I loved sticker books. Guess who was a keen bean brownie? Yes, please. I loved a good activity and I still love a challenge. Do you remember what these signs mean? Anyone know what that means? I'll be well impressed if you do. The classic graffiti S. Everyone remember that one? Picture of the world, God made the universe. Still believe that today. Sin crossed out on the cross with cleaning ointment to get us to God. I mean, how old was I? How did I get that understanding? But that's that's a pretty good pretty good understanding of the state of us relating to God, cleaning ointment being Jesus Jesus' blood. Maybe that's why they called it cleaning ointment. Blood is quite a big concept for however old I was. But you know what? That's I'm impressed at comprehension. Again, I know I kept became a Christian when I was a kid. I do remember it, which some people don't get to remember, but <sighs> reading it back is interesting. This is so crazy. My muscle memory knew that it was this button that I needed to press and hold to turn it on, and it still works. It actually works. Should I be that surprised that tech from goodness knows how long ago still works? I think I'm I'm pretty shocked. The gem of what I found so far is this bad boy. This is the Optio S30. I was chuffed to pieces. If a creative career could be traced back, I would wager this thing holds a lot of memories. This was the business. It was a prize from a shoe shop. The same shoe shop that I won this from, years later, I then went back and worked there in a different branch um oh hang on a second hang on oh my days how much do i want to know what is on this 512 megabytes wow i'm intrigued well look at that folks we got there we got there another notebook and check out this self-portrait i believe this was in 2005 and we'd obviously done shading at school and kind of had gotten into it. I was really getting into my shading and my characters. There's so much going on there. Oh wait, hey, hang on. God knows each and every one of us and loves us all. Oh, it's me trying to, trying to just pick all of humankind. Hey, check out what story we were doing there. Bit of Moses, 2005. So that was over two Sundays. Look, there's a bird and a lion, I think, and the head of a man. So I think we must have been doing something about the Ark of the Covenant. I think that's blood. Wow. Someone going to school? <laughs> Doesn't want Christ, follows Christ, can't find Christ. Whoa. There we go, my reading record. 5M, Mr Miller. Did you have one of these? Did you have to write and record something that you enjoyed about the book or something? Right, what was I reading? What was I reading? The Owl Service by Alan Gardner. I remember that one. Slaves of the Mastery. I remember that book. That was one of my favourite books when I was a kid. Uh, and that means I must have read it when I was ten. There we go. And yeah, sequel to The Wind Singer. Oh, I really loved those books. They were amazing. And then I clearly didn't read ever again. And this. Somebody gave this to me as a present. I did get to go to the Millennium Dome. It was amazing when we went. I remember going. It was so cool. This is how cool, how excited I was about science. I would copy stuff out of books. I love everyone in the world. Wow. <laughs> Water into wine. What has today even held? Uh, it held having a borrow my doggy dog over a women's Bible study on Zoom, looking at the character of Deborah in the Old Testament. Dinner with another member of our church family. Cleaning, a phone call with an old friend, 
I'm appreciative of being a human being, not a human doing. Even though I have done things, I'm not defined by what I do. And on today's episode of Come Gloss With Me, we are glossing my old parents' bedroom. So yesterday was really crazy. It was a get out for Airbnb. And so we had to completely turn the place around. It was a full clean. Um, And at the very last minute, I mean, in the last hour, our guests had to cancel. So long story short, we have ended up with another family staying and we left for my parents and then here we are. I feel whenever I see everyone else's posts, I'm just like, oh, of course they'd have confidence to post that. It's chill content or it's a review or it's fun or whatever it is. It makes perfect sense and I'm quite easy going when whatever people put up, it's like, hmm, cool. But for me putting it up, having just gone through quite a lot (laughs) and there's been a lot of change and things like that and you can just overthink things and overcomplicate things. So if this has gone up, then hooray! Well done, Editing Rachel, you did it. So for all my terrible non masking tape painting earlier. I hope I have redeemed myself with this. That's what we've gone for. A lesser paint-flecked John, often sat inside of doorways, often found painting. Are you going to get a roller or what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. That's that. In the gloom, I say goodbye.